Last time you told me about your work, now it got the better of you. We had the chance to resign, but you did not. You kept working even when it was burning you slowly from the inside. Today, we're trying to delve deeper. We will find reasons behind your decisions. If you say so. Tell me, does it feel like you're in control? Uh, yeah. I believe so. I mean, I struggle to stand behind my voice. Yes, I thought as much. I suppose you also feel insecure. Yeah, I don't feel like I have much left to give. What do you think? Why is your self-esteem so low? I wish I knew the answer. Tell me about your childhood. What would you like to hear? Just an overview. How was it? I'm aware of the tragedy you had to face. Yeah, I do miss my parents. I had a happy childhood, but it ended way too soon. I'm sorry to hear that. Let's revisit that little that a little later. Could you tell me more about your parents? They're the best, kind and understanding. They owned most ideal they owned most idyllic coffee the most idyllic coffee shop. I suppose that explains why I love coffee so much. Anyway, during the recession their business started to struggle. We got to the point where we had to sell our house. Do you think their events have partially caused your urge for success? Uh, our time seems to be up, Mr. Price. I'd like to hear more about your childhood during our next session. See you, Cody. Forgiveness. Hey, are you okay? You look distracted. Whoa. Is that you, Charlie? Eh? How funny. What are you doing here? You invited me, man. We need to get you some beer. It'll do you some good, trust me. Uh, show me the way. Are you getting married? Not, not Charlie and me, but me and whoever my wife is. Ooh. <laughs> Cheers to old friends. Cheers. So it's been, what, seven years? Nine years. Oh, that long already? Yeah, tell me about it. What have you been up to? That, my friend, is a long and boring story. The usual kind of boring, you know? I settled down got married. I'm also going to be a dad in a few months' time. Whoa, congrats. I'm very happy for you and you deserve everything. Thanks. And how about you? For some reason, we don't keep in touch after you move for work. Speak of, did you get the job? Unfortunately, yes. Huh? It's a long story. I'd like to hear it. I need a beer first. You with me? Down that. <sighs> that was quite a story. I'm sorry to hear about the things you went through. Told me I made my own choices, my own mistakes. But still, you're a good person. Thanks, Charlie. Oh yeah, I forgot something. I'll be back in a minute. Who's a good girl? Hey. It's Reason again! I'm coming, Reason. Reason the Raisin Man. Hi, Reason. Someone's feeling cheerful. <laughs> yeah. So how do you like all this? Surrounded by friends. In the warmth of the night. I feel welcome and safe here. Even hopeful. You've come so far. All the things you've gone through. They're like fuel for hope. You're close to releasing the light inside of you. Sorry, I don't mean to be rude, but I just want to relax now. For now, I need to forget about everything. No offense taken. In fact, I encourage you to recharge with all of this warmth. Thanks for reason. Oh, I'll wrote you a letter. It's important. Thanks, can I read it? 
Not yet. You need to wait for the right moment. Ah, uh, mysterious. Uh, I know how it sounds, but promise me you won't open it yet. I promise. Thanks. You'll know when the time is right. Okay, then. I saw her. Oh shit, I know this place. This is where Mrs. Goodwin passed away. Out of order. Someone needs to fix the machine in the reception room. Mrs. Goodwin! Come back. Well, that was original. <laughs> Not. Okay, there's something here I could use. This crank will come useful. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I don't know that yet. Five F five. These, those are notes. I'm sure of it. He's long gone. You can tell by the smell. There's something funny about these curtains, but those are numbers. What does it say? <clears throat> five... Five... Zero... Wait... Let's see... A perfect match. Okay. Six, four, nine. Oh, it's 649 again. Reason! I'm busy! I'm doing puzzles, Reason! I see you've taken steps towards finding yourself again. Towards finding hope. What choice do I have? Everything is in your hands. You keep questioning the purpose behind your journey and existence. But every step you take fills you with silent light. Can you please stop being so poetic and speak plainly so I understand? I'm merely pointing you in the right direction. See, I cannot tell what it is what. I cannot tell you what is what. Realization must come from within. Only you can do it, and no one else. Yeah, I think I understand. This face might wake some painful memories in you, I am right. Yeah, Mrs. Goodwin. Good, you shouldn't confuse agony with malice. He is a part of you and plays a role in all of this. Give yourself a chance. Give hope a chance. I'll try. Thank you for encouragement, Reason. Thank you for listening to me. What do you think you're doing? She's coming for you. Show yourself.
<laughs> the blood down the screen is nice. <laughs> no, I think that's just a creepy person. I can get into the room if I move the couch. a rose. I am darkness, boy. Fear me. Go away. Two hands. Still afraid of whispers from the darkness? You're not a worthy fool. Nobody loves you. Be gone and leave me alone. So I got I got that bulb. But I don't get the puzzle. <laughs> Maybe 
Maybe. It was fun, but I already turned the crank. Turning the crank, so fun. Someone needs to fix the room. The machine in the reception room. Okay. Here we go. Look at me, looting drugs. Surely the syringe will come in use. The what now? Maybe it has to do with that, those notes on the board. I only guess it has something to do with the notes on the board. Let's see. One. Huh. I don't know. E five F number five. Oh, maybe I can give him the syringe. Oh, hi! I put some medicine in your. Here, relevant. No need to explain yourself. Uh, okay. Who are you? Obviously, I am inspiration. Inspiration? Uh, shouldn't you be, you know, more inspiring? Yeah, maybe I should. But you left me behind a long time ago. We used to work together when you were younger. Playing piano, painting, building stuff. Those are some good memories. I wonder why I stopped. I'll work and no play made you a dull boy. Jack? Yeah, I guess. You know, you could use me every now and then. Okay, so what do we have for me? I did write a small tune. Just a small one. It's a bit generic since you never questioned my creation. So anyway, it could help you on your path. Let's hear it then. Ah, uh -huh, it is what I need. Got it. It's not that hard to remember, it's one, four, four, four. Thank you, inspiration. You creepy bastard. Got it. That must be the right combination. Oh, did 
Dodge the hell that. Wait for her first. She's still dead, huh? Why do you even try? You deserve nothing. You won't last the night. Give up. I still don't know what those are. Goodwin? This is Goodwin! Miss Goodwin? No, I'm forgiveness. Miss Goodwin is the form you gave me. But I'm sorry about everything. She never blamed you for anything. I know, but I do. I do. I'm forgiveness. Let me help you. Now, please hear me out. There's a reason why you can't forgive yourself. It's all connected. Your past, your parents, how their business was taken away from them. Everything in life molds you. Yeah, and I did the same to Mrs. Goodwin. I took away her home. You've put so much time and energy into regretting that decision. Just why? Regret is all you seem to do. I can't just let it go. I don't think I ever can stop blaming myself. It's like something is stopping me. Maybe there is something more. Maybe you need to find that something. And then, in the throes of your journey, maybe you'll be ready to forgive yourself. I'm not reason, but I advise you to carry on. You're bound to find what you're looking for. Have faith and you'll restore yourself. Would you tell me what happened after your parents missing passing? They placed me in an orphanage where I then grew up. It was okay, I suppose. I made good friends there with a boy called Charlie, although I haven't seen him in ages. Tell me more about it. Well, we were very close, but then I, when I reached adulthood, I moved to another city to pursue a career with McBade, McDade, Bruton, and more. I do regret not keeping in touch with Charlie. I regret it all. It sounds like you're too harsh on yourself. Maybe you shouldn't dwell on the past, but now I'd like to hear more about the death of your parents. The tragedy is bound to leave a mark. Nah, it's fine, Doc. I try not to think about it, it's easier that way. Tell me, how did they make you feel how did that make you feel? I felt sad, but I was able to shut it away. I got over it surprisingly fast. We all react differently to such loss. But could it possibly could it be possible you never really processed their passing? Tell me, did you ever take time to yourself just to mourn? No, not really. But like I said, it's okay. I didn't need to. Mr. Price, I believe you could be suffering from trauma. It sounds like you're still in denial. Instead of processing your loss, you shut it away. Maybe in the silence, it's trauma molding your every decision. It's trauma is molding your every decision? I don't believe that's the case, Doc. I mean, I do appreciate your help. Ah, uh, our time seems to be up. Please don't shy away from my words. Give it some thought, and who knows what might find. Thank you. 